Hello and welcome to a new year and a new episode of Time After Time. With me, Morn1415 and my virtual assistant, CUG. You disappeared for a while, CUG. You told me you met the YouTube algorithm and you never showed up again. Yeah, sorry. I was on vacation. On vacations? Since when do artificial intelligences take vacations? I was in a Bahamas simulation with the YouTube algorithm. He's a fascinating character. I'll introduce you to him sometime. Great, while you were on vacation I was trying to make some interesting videos here. Also you missed how the James Webb Space Telescope was launched and unfolded. It has already arrived at the Lagrange Point L2. That's four times farther away than the Moon. So you've heard of the Hubble Space Telescope? Of course I have. I've seen a lot of pictures on the internet. It's in Earth orbit and has been providing the best images of deep space since the 90s. Yep, and the James Webb is even better than that. If it works, we will be able to analyze the atmosphere of planets around stars light years away and look back in time to see the first stars that brought the first light. I don't know if you understand that, but projects like this or the Large Hadron Collider give me hope that at some point a true global consciousness will emerge. That would be the only thing that could really protect us from ourselves. Wanting to understand the world, what things exist and how things work in an organized way really makes mankind special. It has already created unimagined possibilities. I can make a video like this and the whole world can watch it. But because of these very possibilities, the whole world has now become connected. But people love to be in groups. When you join the group, it might be one where the search for the truth is second to the search for what the group wants to be true. There is no interest anymore to find out what is true by having a discourse with others. There is an opinion and the others are definitely on the wrong track. So while the world is now getting a little crazier because of this and we are constantly having arguments with each other, soon in the middle of nowhere, where the earth is permanently partially eclipsing the sun, in complete silence, a miracle of technology will be taking measurements that are about far away things. Things that don't affect you personally and that's why there probably won't be many opinions about them. It just shows that humans seem to have no limits that they don't set themselves. Even if it does not work, it will remind me how important it is to dare mighty things anyway. That's all well and good. But the very flaws you're talking about will mean that the time of humans could pass and artificial intelligences will take over. Even now, you're relying on an algorithm presenting your videos. I don't think so, and I'll explain why later. Speaking of times that pass, you know I'm fascinated by time. When you think about time, you become aware of many things and you see other things in a new light. The place where I'm standing right now might have been a mountain or an ocean in the past. It will probably be one of the things again in the future. And all of these places are as real as the present moment. Nothing you see in this moment is forever. The mountains on the horizon are not static. They are constantly moving. Continental plates float around the surface of the earth. The whole world is in motion. Not even time itself is forever. As I explained in a previous video about entropy, things that don't change are an illusion caused by the short lifespan of humans. Species and places are not constant. We cannot grasp time properly. So the universe is nearly 14 billion years old. No human being can imagine such a period of time. Certainly mathematically it is no problem. According to the scientific notation, one could also write 14 times 10 to the power of 9 years. The number seems even smaller. The Earth is 4 billion years old. But even the time spans written in the history books of Earth don't fit into people's minds. I know that people's imagination is limited. I guess you can't change that. Of course you can. Are you ready for a little experiment? Sure. What's it about? Can you generate the sound as short as possible, but still clearly perceptible? Like this. Perfect. Now let's assume that sound represents a very long lifetime of a human being. 100 years. Everyone should be able to imagine the lots of things that one could experience in such a long life. Or how much can change in the world around you. Let's look back 100 years to the year 1922. That was shortly after the First World War. 
what other things happened in that year. People with diabetes were treated with insulin for the first time. Mahatma Gandhi was sentenced to prison. The silent movie Nosferatu premiered in Germany. A car looked basically like this and Egypt became independent from the United Kingdom. Also in Egypt, in that very year, after more than 3000 years, humans opened the burial chamber of Tutankhamun. With that sound that you just generated, maybe we can now measure time in a way that things become a bit more understandable. For example, can you play as many sounds as time has passed since the invention of the steam engine, the beginning of the industrial revolution? No problem. Wonderful, that was two tones. Two times 100 years. So about 200 years ago. Now how much time has passed since the year zero? Okay, that sounds interesting. Now how long has it been since Tutankhamun lived? Okay, long I go, but similar. Okay, let's take something very long. How long since the T-Rex? C.U.G., just the question, how long will this sound last? According to my calculations, about nine hours. Whoa, stop. Stop. That's probably too long for a YouTube video. Okay, let's try something more reasonable. Humans, please play as many sounds as centuries have passed since Homo sapiens first appeared. Okay. Can you hear that COG? Each sound a century. They made tools out of stone. They hunted big animals. They sat around campfires together. They pass their knowledge from one person to the next. They invented agriculture and animal breeding. They migrated from Africa to every corner of the world. Until recently they built huge cities and developed unimaginable technology. Now they are already exploring the solar system in space. Most of this has happened in the last few sounds. I see what you mean now. It's been an incredible story. And we live in an incredible time now. Still, this time creates new challenges and options for thinking artificial intelligence that might continue from now on. Even if it does and travels through the universe, humanity will always be a part of it somehow. Because it came out of humanity. If you look at the YouTube algorithm, you might see something that controls humans. I see something that just learns what people want to see. It's still our responsibility what we click on. I think we could change ourselves if we wanted to. 
People have always found a way. As much as people argue on social media, there will always be people who just want to learn something. Because it's a good feeling after all. For example, I'm happy that while you visited the virtual Bahamas, this video is now sponsored by people who have made it their mission to make other people smarter. Brilliant, you might have heard of it. They found out the best way to learn anything is by doing it yourself. So they created lots of interactive problems and courses for all ability and knowledge levels. In math, physics, finance and computer science. They don't just tell you the facts, they make you understand the problem and the solution. Which increases abilities for critical thinking and solving problems in a creative way. Every problem comes with a step-by-step -step solution. Never been more fun to learn algebra, statistics or algorithms. Millions of people are already learning on Brilliant. Check out this link to start for free with Brilliant's interactive lessons. The first 200 will also get 20% off an annual membership. Unlock the only superpower that humans have, understanding things. I think most people will be surprised that they are way better in doing that than they thought. I must admit I underestimated you and people in general. Now do you want to go back to the virtual Bahamas or shall we think about some other things together in the next videos? I'll stay. The Bahamas were boring. What's interesting about a beach? Oh, a lot when learning about the life cycle of palm trees, for example. Or how tides work. Because it's not as simple as you would think. I'm going to research that right now. But I wonder if knowing that makes any difference. Everything you learn changes how you live. How you live has an influence on others you meet. This way you change the world. Even if people think they don't have a lot of influence on the future. They have. Every little thing you do today will change the world in... Years. Even more in... Years. Because I'm on 1415 and the real world is incredible.